Peace. Noun. Freedom from disturbance, threat, or violence in mental, personal, or national life. Interjection. Farewell or goodbye, sometimes combined with out to form peace out. History and etymology. The word peace entered the English language from the Anglo-Norman word peace during the Norman conquest of England in the 11th century. The word peace seems to have entered the English language as a greeting. Peace was used to translate the Hebrew word shalom, which means peace, and is used traditionally as a greeting in Jewish culture. Eventually, it moved away from its use as a greeting to completely replace the original Middle English word for peace, frith. In the late 1960s and 70s, the word peace returned to common use as a farewell, similar to its original use as a translation of shalom. The earliest reference I could find in the Oxford English Dictionary to the use of peace out as a farewell was from 1988 in the lyrics of the Three Minute Rule by the Beastie Boys. The use of the combination peace out likely comes from its original use in the 60s being modernized in the 1980s with a word that seemed more technological like when radio operators would say over and out, that out just became applied to the word peace, thereby forming peace out as a farewell. Prescription. I've had a lot of trouble coming up with a commentary or prescription for the word peace. The word peace seems to be used generally as a word to describe an external state of how people are behaving towards each other. It can be used for an internal mind state, but but I'd like to discuss the word peace in like a social sense. Peace between people, peace between countries. Now, one of the things I think is overlooked is it doesn't include how people feel towards each other. It's how they treat each other. That means that the you could have peace in a place where people hate, fear, or are disgusted with each other. You don't have to like someone to live peacefully with them. In fact, you could hate them and still live peacefully with them. I've got a clip from one of my favorite economists, Walter Williams, where he describes how this can come about. Let me give you an example of that, because you might not have thought about it this way. Take some take, uh, te uh, Texas cattle ranchers this winter. They might be getting up in blizzards in the middle of the night, running down stray cows, trying to feed them, maybe getting kicked by the cows, making this personal sacrifice to make sure New Yorkers have beef on their shelves. You, have, you had Idaho potato farmers getting up in the morning, doing backbreaking work, sun beating down and dirt underneath their fingernails, bugs biting them, making this personal sacrifice to make sure New Yorkers also have potatoes on their shelves. Now, I ask you, <clears throat> why do you think they're doing it? Do you think they're doing that because they love New Yorkers? <laughs> they may hate New Yorkers. I'm not that wild about New Yorkers myself. <laughs> but they may hate New Yorkers, but they make sure that beef and potatoes gets to New York every day, single day of the week. Why? Because they want more for themselves. Now, I ask you, how much beef and potatoes do you think would get to New York if it all depended on human love and kindness and social justice? I'd be worried about people in New York. <laughs> now, most good things get done because of self-interest. I've put a link to the entire lecture in the description. But if self-interest and greed can bring about a peaceful situation, as in that example, that means that peace doesn't necessarily come from understanding and acceptance. I think a lot of times people conflate the word peace with the saying peace and harmony. Some people don't seem to believe that we can't live peacefully unless we all hold the same beliefs and values. I think we need to steer away from that usage of the word peace. Peace is achievable but we can't do it by changing the minds of other people by force. The moment we try and impose our values by threat or force, 
We're no longer being peaceful and we've become part of the problem. We don't have to accept people to live peacefully with them. I believe the same principle holds true for relationships between countries. We're at peace with the countries we do a lot of trade with. European countries, China, Japan. But the countries we try and impose our Western democracy on are the countries we're stuck fighting in constantly. We've spoiled any chance of peace in these places by trying to help them. And it's just not working. My final conclusion is, the more time we spend improving ourselves, and the less time we spend trying to improve others by force without their permission, the more peaceful this world will become. I hope you've enjoyed this exploration of the word peace. If you have, leave me a like. If not, leave me a comment. Let me know what I got wrong, what you think. I welcome your feedback. And if you're new to this channel, I hope you'll consider subscribing. Have a wonderful day, and I'll see you next time.